So hello to both of you. How are you doing? Great to see you. Aurélie. Great to see you, Louise. Yeah. yeah, Louise. Welcome to our living room. <laughs> Thank you very much. So what is at stake, shall we say, let's do CTV. This is the first part of your analysis today. You sneaked into Europeans' living rooms for the second year to decode video consumption habits. And first of all, in 2023, do we spend a lot of time in front of the television? Yes, clearly, you know, the importance of watching video at home was confirmed. It's 57% of all Europeans that we got the questionnaire that said it's in their top three activities. Okay. And another good news about this, it's 10 out of the 10 countries put watching video into their top three. Last year, it was only nine out of 10, but the Germans, they came back to reason. So that's very good news for us. Hooray for that. Um, in 2022, the TV screen was, I remember, at the center of the living room. Is that the case today? Yeah, it's really the preferred destination for watching video at home. It's 77% of all Europeans that watch video on their TV screen every day. It's progressing year on year. But what makes us even more confident in the future of the television screen is that it's so important as well for the younger generations. You know, the Europeans that are under 35 years old, well, they declare that their living room would look are pretty empty without uh, a television for 74% of them. It's even more than the total population. For them, it really brings the people together. But I can feel that there's a but coming on, isn't there? Yeah, <laughs> after the good news, there's always a but. This is the moment where well, the, the planners uh, in the audience uh, will start to have nightmares. <laughs> the but is that there is more in life than the television screen. You know, we watch video on multiple screens. and. I'll give you an example. If yeah. you take the two more important screens at the moment that are the television screen on the one end, the smartphone screen on the one end. Every day, 86% of Europeans are watching video on both these screens. Mm -hmm. But there are some exclusive viewers to each screen. It's 20% of exclusive viewers for the television screen. It's 15% of exclusive viewers for the smartphone screen. So if you don't plan multiple devices, you will miss out on exclusive viewers. Okay, so multiple devices, but also multiple uses for one screen. Right, Aurélie? Yes, and this is our fragmentation slides. So we continue in the nightmare, as Achibe <laughs> mentioned. So actually, the question is, was on a weekly basis, what do people watch on the TV sets? 69 persons, so linear TV is first. Mm -hmm. uh, but clearly, the fragmentation is very high. 64 persons for the subscription VOD, the likes of Disney Plus and Netflix. Um, YouTube on the big screen is very high as well. Broadcast VOD, so the like of Six Play in France, ITVX in the UK, for instance, is very high as well. So what it means is that when you are planning a campaign on the big screen, depending on the target group, you might need to, you know, actually plan different platforms. So that's that's a tricky part. And from what I can see, Avod has not yet conquered Europe. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later on, if that's okay for you guys. Um, so what are our favorite platforms then? Well, uh, the trend is that linear TV is slightly decreasing. We've seen it's still number one, but it, it lost four person versus last year field. Okay. Um, so the question was, okay, where, where is the growth? Uh, actually, it's not on the SVOD platforms. It seems like they kind of reach a plateau, actually. And it might come to a surprise for certain people, but actually the, the growth is coming from the broadcast video on demand. Um, to us, it wasn't such a surprise, to be honest, because we see how much our local partners invest heavily into you know, this great content, premium local content mm -hmm. that the viewers love to watch. So that's, uh, that's what we find in the, in the results as well. And so what does that imply for advertisers then? Very concretely right now, the question is, do I reach the same people uh, when I plan the big screen? Okay, if I plan linear TV, if I plan you know, YouTube on, on, on the big screen and Bivot, for example, do I reach the same people over and over again? And you know, how do I calculate this incremental reach that each platform is bringing to another? Mm. So that's, that's a complexity. Um, if we look at this slide, uh, for example, if we take you know, the YouTube versus linear TV, well, actually, we see that there are a lot of exclusive viewers. You can see 30 person would watch just linear TV, 13 person just YouTube, and actually the overlap is existing, but is rather limited. Um, so our first guest would come you know, and deep dive and bring insight into this topic in a few minutes. I okay. think it's, in, it's important. So um, how do we explain the number of exclusive viewers on television? 
Well, to understand this, you have to put yourself into the consumer shoes, you know? It's because Linear TV offers content that you cannot get on the other platforms, you know? News, sports events, or entertainment are exclusive to Linear TV. When you go to the video on demand platforms, you know, BVOD, SVOD, you will capitalize on their huge catalog of movies, series that will create incremental usage. And finally, for YouTube, they deliver a very special kind of entertainment that guarantees them some other exclusive viewers. So different content equals exclusive viewers. So we're evolving in a fragmented video world today, but we are all, I think we can say that, simplicity seekers in some way. So how can we navigate easily? I think that's the question. Well, I would say, thanks to the RTL Ad Alliance teams, uh, they're working on fantastic solutions and innovations that are coming very, very soon. And you'll see that right now with our next guest. Uh, he is the CEO of Realytics, a French company that's part of the group. Uh, Realytics brings analytical, media planning, and programmatic innovations to the TV and advertising industry. In a few moments, Guillaume Belmas will be joining me. Uh, but before, I would like you to watch his choice his inspiring advert here we go hey babe check this out alexa it's game day streaming football on prime video closing blinds chilling rosé rosé well it's an afternoon game huh. it's like she can read, read your, your mind, mind. Read your mind. <sighs> i love that we get to sleep mm. in Ordering fresh mint mouthwash. Extra strength. I was thinking, I shouldn't get a spray tan, you know? Because that's on Wednesday. Activating blender. Funeral's on Monday. But what about the gold, Papa? Can't you see that treasure all along? It was here. Love the eye patch. It's. When does the show open? March 8th. Setting reminder to fake your own death on March 8th. Not, uh... What the When you have to do those love scenes with hot guys, is that fun or is that like the worst? It's the worst. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Mm. Hey, Scarlett, this bread is delicious. So good. Did you make it? Yes, uh, it's from my Gammy's recipe. Announcement. Gammy is short for she bought it at Whole Foods. Announcement. Colin left the oysters in the car for five hours. It's probably better Alexa can't read your mind. Bad idea. What's 